hey everyone i have got six pairs of shoes that i'm so excited to show you i have a combination i've got three designer three non-designer they range in price massively from 580 at the top end right down to 20 pounds at the lower end they're all pink mainly and they are current so let me show you the first pair i'm going to start with these these are from christian louboutin I actually got these as a work shoe. I work in the creative industry. I can get away with this in certain situations, but I wanted a designer shoe. I like Christian Louboutin. I saw these and I tried them on and I can't even begin to tell you if you're familiar with the brand. You know how normally they're uncomfortable and they're not meant to be comfortable, are they? But these honestly are. They're suede and because of that, when you put them on, the leather feels so soft on the inside. I do have a wide foot. But in these, I don't feel, I don't know if it's because it's got a lower heel on it, but I don't feel like it squeezes my foot particularly. I feel like they're very comfortable. These are subtle enough that you don't walk in the room and everyone's like, oh my God, you've got spikes in your shoes. But they've just, they're just that sort of attention to detail that you might notice if you actually look or get a little bit closer. And I liked the detail. It just changes the shoe from being a normal black court shoe into being like into having a little bit more personality. These have got an 85 millimeter heel. Sizing wise, I personally tend to be between a 39 and a half, but predominantly a size 40 in Christian Louboutin because as well, I've got a wide foot. But when I tried these on, the 40 felt good, but the, the guy assisting me, he said to me, these are notorious for stretching out. So he recommended I get the 39 and a half. And I gotta say that if they are comfortable. If you want, a pair of Christian Louboutin that you can actually use, I recommend these. The next shoe that I'm going to show you, I'm going to mix these up between designer and non-designer. Did I say one of the shoes that I'm going to show you, which I'm going to come on to in a bit, is actually a shoe that a subscriber was kind enough to send me. Denise, it's going to be your shoe coming up. I love that shoe. But the brand of that shoe, that's where I found these. These come in loads of different colors. They're made out of a faux velvet. And I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but one of the things that I don't like about non-designer shoes, except the ones that you can get in the likes of Topshop, I know ASOS has a few pairs, but so many of the non-designer brands now are making their shoes entirely of plastic. I put the shoe on and after an hour, it's disgusting, but obviously your feet can't breathe, so they end up sweating. But I decided to get these for two reasons. First of all, they were so inexpensive. These were, from memory, these were under 30 pounds. Because they're not an enclosed shoe, whenever I've worn these, I haven't had the same issues with sweating i know it's gross but i'm just being honest i haven't had the same issues that i would get with an enclosed shoe so if that's something that concerns you at all then i definitely recommend these i should say as well when i ordered them i saw them and i was like oh i really like them i have to have them and then i went in harrods last week and i was walking around the shoe department and i saw these exact shoes by aquazura and i was like oh my god these are obviously like a dupe or a copy or something. If pink isn't your thing, you can get these in other colors. I'm gonna move on to another designer shoe. Some of you will have seen these if you saw my Farfetch video. I'm really on a pink thing at the moment, particularly coral type pinks. These are by Jimmy Choo. The heel is not crazy high. One of the reasons why I picked these is because I wanted something, you know that look where you wear like a semi boyfriend, girlfriend jean where they're a bit baggy, but they look really nice if you wear like a pointed shoe with them. I wanted something that I could do that with that had color in it that would change up a look. I wear them with this particular pair of Levi jeans I've got that are really loose fitting and I'll wear it with like a white peplum top, these shoes, and I love the look because it's sort of edgy and relaxed, but at the same time, it's got that smartness in it. In my opinion, these come up a tiny bit small, like compared to the Christian Louboutin anyway, where that one, I needed to go a half size down. With these, I just took a 40 and they are a great fit. Now for the next shoe, and I just need to say that these are a bit extra and I know, but, I, I couldn't say no to them. They're like so crazy. These are from ASOS. These are actually from their bridal collection and these straps sort of wrap around your ankle like that. On the heel, it's got like crushed up, 
crystals and like in like a rose gold color, peachy color and in silver. They've got a faux satin looking design there that is in a peachy color. They're not the easiest to walk in. I've got to be totally honest with you that you know those shoes that are so high, you sort of clomp in them a little bit. They are like that. But they're the kind of shoe that I wanted to wear to. I actually had an event that I wore these to and I wanted something that I could wear again with those boyfriend jeans I was telling you about. These with boyfriend jeans, because they're so like wild, they actually look quite cool when you dress them down like that. You can get these in a couple of different colors. I also saw them in white. I really liked the white color. Sizing wise, I got the six initially and it came up really small. So I sent it back and I got the seven, which is a perfect fit. I think these come up small to size. Personally, I'd take a whole size up from whatever you are. The only downside, you know what I was saying earlier about non-leather? These shoes are, are non-leather on the inside and within like a couple of minutes of wearing them. I don't know what this is that they've put on the inside, but it goes really slippery. I'm almost thinking of like putting some sort of insole in there to help it out because if you try these, you'll know what I mean. That's the only unpleasant thing I can say about them is that you put them on and sort of a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes later, or if you're in a warmer environment, your feet just slip on this surface. I'm gonna do one more designer and one more non-designer. I wanted these for so long, but I wanted them in this particular color. These are the Aquazura pom-pom heels. You can get them in black or you can get them in this dusty sort of rose color. This is my first pair of Aquazura shoes. They are very comfortable. If you have a wide foot, they are also not a problem at all. Even though you can't see it, but I love that detail. Underneath the pom-pom, the shoe itself sort of has this, it's like a heart shape on the other underside. If you decide to get these shoes, I wanna let you know something. When you get them, they put like, um, like there's a bit of paper wrapped around the pom-pom like that. And so when you first get them, the pom-pom is fluffy on some sides and then really flat on the others. And I was like, well, how's that gonna sort itself out? But what I did was I took the paper off and I just sort of ruffled it. And then I left it a couple of days. When leaving them, the whole thing sort of relaxes. So if you buy them and that happens, don't stress, just, take that paper bit off and then leave them to chill out a bit. Now for the final pair of shoes, they are these, which I absolutely have been loving to death. These were so kindly sent to me by a subscriber called Denise. And Denise, you already know this because I've spoken to you about them, but I'm so addicted to these shoes. Do you know the number 21 shoes? They're a bit like that crossed with, who else did I see that had produced a shoe like this? There's quite a few designers at the moment that have got mules like this. They are comfortable and they are such a beautiful color. You can, I think, get these in different shades as well. I think I have seen them actually. I want to say, if you are loving this trend at the moment of knotted, mule type shoes, but you don't wanna go and buy an expensive designer pair only for it to not be in fashion next year. That's really what I've been doing. I keep going backwards and forwards with the number 21 mules, but I look at them. I showed David them actually, and I tried them on. He was like, they're so weird. And I was like, yeah, I know, but they feel quite cool at the moment, but I don't wanna go and spend that sort of money. And then next summer, I don't know what to do with them. And so I think that buying something like this is just the perfect way of doing it. Cause you're not breaking the bank, but you're still sort of, sticking with the trend. And the cost of these is under 30 pounds as well. Out of all the shoes I've shown you, I think I've taken most pleasure out of these two because they look so on trend, but they cost nothing. I honestly love doing that. I love it when I find an item of clothing or a pair of shoes or a bag and it looks amazing and I truly love it and it's cost nothing. I feel like I've really won whenever I've done that. If you're a shoe lover, I hope that there's something here that you've really liked. I don't know if all of these are still available. I've sort of left it a bit late, but I will look and see if I can find things. I'm gonna detail everything in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.